Hello everyone, this is your again, again, Lawyer Chef. I welcome you to this channel. Thanks for your support. If you are new here, please subscribe to my channel. On this platform, we cook good food and we encourage ourselves to eat healthy. Today we are going to make another healthy and delicious African cuisine. So we are making a kuro for you this morning. So the main ingredients for a kuro white base pudding is uh, black ice beans. And uh, I have here soaked three cups of black ice beans. So I just want to show you quickly how I peel my beans. Then we can now proceed to the process of making our kuro. So as you as you can see, I'm going to be using my ninja and the blender to, to, pay, to pay the black ice beans. I'm going to rinse off the skin, then soak again for some minutes before I make my okura. Yeah, as you can see, our beans has been washed and cleaned, and this is what we have. So I've added some water into my blender. So we're going to blend now. So this is what we have. This is what we have. I'm going to mix together. It's actually looking fluffy already. You don't need to add any sauce or anything. You cook it just the way it is like this. You cook it just like this. So that's it. I'm going to cook it now. It's very fluffy. So if you don't have uh, this kind of uh, blender, you just need to make sure you mix thoroughly. You keep uh, whipping it until it's very, very fluffy before you cook to get that texture it's a cool texture this is called a cool some people also call it ofulo june in nigeria i am a kitty woman we call it sukuro so i will be using my steamer to cook today you can use your pot as well but this make it easier for me so i'll put it on the steamer and then the next 30 minutes it should be ready see you All right, so while we are waiting for a kuru or ofun loju or white beans pudding, we're going to make the sauce, a kuru goat with a sauce. So I'm going to use a little bit of palm oil and then as usual, combine with my rapeseed oil. So we are going to eat up some palm oil. Just a little. You can use just only the palm oil for it that's the way you like it or i swear add uh, some oil so this is my, my rapeseed oil so i'm going to add some onions my paste garlic and ginger paste two tablespoons So, and we're going to add our pepper. This is a roughly blended pepper. It's a big shot of a uh, habanero, red onions, habanero, red onions, and one bell pepper just to calm the heat. All right, so we're going to add our seasoning now okay if you watch uh, some of my videos i've uh, gone through this process before how to make sauce you know so if you have seen that you can skip this and move to the to the next stage but for people that are just watching for the first time this is how to make a sauce i'm going to add my my sister now this is um this is maggie crayfish okay you can use any 
seasoning or any other flavor of margin of your choice. Yeah, I just added a tablespoon of airy fish and I'm going to have the stock fish as well. The grand and stock fish. So I'm going to have the tablespoon as well. A tablespoon of a grand, grand stock fish. That's the flavor, the natural flavor. And the tablespoon of a crayfish. 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 Half a tablespoon of a catfish. Half a tablespoon of catfish. Grand one. And the teaspoon of a turmeric. It's a very hard sauce, I must confess. Mm. Very, very hot. Very, very hot. So let it cook very well. Okay. I will not be eating raw pepper. Let it cook very well. So I'm also going to have uh, some pink salt. Just a little. So if we need to add more later, we can do that. After we have tested for salt. So you can use it just this way. So it has some proteins in it already. So, so I'm going to add some um, meats. So we're going to add uh, proteins. So I've added some um, green turkey and uh, goat meat. We know cover it up. Cover the meat with the pepper. I'm gonna check on my kuro because it is done already. Because the, the steamer has stopped. And we can now come back to make our okra. I'm gonna cover up. Yeah. So, Ekuru, our Ekuru, all full of jewel, our white beans pudding is ready, as you can see. So, I'm going to take it out of the steamer now, for it to cool down, while I make my okra for our Ekuru. So, as you can see, I've uh, put on the stove my blended okra to cook for some minutes. You can add a pinch of salt. Some prefer to leave it as plain, you know, without salt. So I'm gonna put a little bit of salt, just a pinch. I'm gonna add this. Just a little. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Goodness me. So this is our sauce. I'm gonna taste for salt. We have to add more salt to this. Just a bit more snapping salt. We have to, we have to make this as nice as possible because the crew is depending on the salt. If it's too thick, you can have your stock. I don't think there's, there's any need for me to have stock. Yeah, I'll this again. Ah, this is so yummy. Very, very delicious. So you can see that even the okra as well is, is, is ready. A ikuru pepper sauce is ready. I'm going to turn off the heat. So this is what we have for you today. I'm going to serve now. Subscribe to my channel. Bring your place. Ikuru onfuloju.